Welcome to Beards, Beers, and Barbecue. This week, we're making beer can chicken, and I'm drinking Great Basin's Tectonic Event Imperial IPA. Okay, so this week what you're going to need is a uh, cheap beer, I'm going to use Bud Light, um, your favorite rub, and uh, a three to six pound chicken. Um, what we're going to do is you'll you know, get the chicken out of the package, rinse it off, get it cleaned up, get all the innards out of it, and then just coat it with your rub. I like to uh, flip it up and uh, throw some in the cavity also. On its back, get it coated. One more coating on top. Do the same with the second one, well, if you're doing two. Okay, once you have it coated with the rub, um, I've got one of the little chicken holders that you can buy at the grocery store, or Lowe's, or Home Depot, or whatever, and um, I'm going to do one beer can, and then just one with the holder. And what I do with the beer is, um, it's about a half a can of beer, um, I dump mine. <laughs> um, you can drink yours, I usually do, but I'm enjoying this great basin, so I dumped it half out, and then I put a tablespoon of garlic in there, so just some fresh chopped garlic. And then um, show your chicken right on top of that bad boy. And I'm going to kick the legs out for a little bounce. Same with this one, the holder. Then you're all set. Let's get it on the grill. All right, so once you get your grill up to 375, we'll get the chicken on there, and then uh, we'll come back in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes and give it a test, check, make sure the internal temperature is correct. Welcome back to Beards, Beers, and Barbecue. This week, we've got Davey Hibbler here. Davey Hibbler Productions. He's a photographer, videographer, and uh, drone operator. I mean, he's... <laughs> is, that, is that what you call it? Drone operator? I guess so. I, I'm, yeah. I'm just flying off the seat of my pants here. So. <laughs> That's all right. So, so Davey, so you, you do weddings and, you know, you do music videos mm -hmm. and... You, what got you into photography, man? What, what, what was the biggest inspiration for you? Um... So it's kind of funny, um, throughout like my whole high school career, kind of middle school, like I was always into sports, into football and wrestling, and uh, my dad always had a camera, um, and he would always take all the pictures for all my games, and like, you know, he was like kind of the photo guy. But I never sparked an interest during high school. Um, it was never kind of like something that I really liked, I guess. I mean, when I was a kid, like I always had like a little point and shoot, like we'd make scarred videos, and you know, like jumping off of... Um, rocks and stuff you know just being kind of silly but um, then my buddy got into wedding photography in high school and then he's been a his name's Jared Ermson he's um, been doing weddings for about like six seasons now and so then he was just you know making you know thousands of dollars as a young kid so it's like hey you know I could do this huh. and so um, I like bought a GoPro and um, I just started sh like making videos on like cuz I like I like wake surfing or like Wakeboarding, wake, wake surfing, right. um, snowboarding, like, you know, just it's a waterproof camera. And so um, got, you know, super into that, started making, like, little edits and stuff. And then um, there's a time-lapse feature on the um, GoPro. And so I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, time-lapses are cool. You know, I'll try that out. And so then I would, like, go plant my um, GoPro, you know, like, somewhere. And then I would, like, go home. And then I'll come back like two or three hours later and like pick it up, like put all the pictures on my computer and then um, make like a video for it, from it. And um, so then I started doing that every Tuesday and it was like time lapse Tuesday. And so then I kind of got like a following from that. And I worked at uh, FedEx at the time. Um, and so this was like in 2013, 
or 14. It was two years ago. Real quick, but I don't mean to interrupt you, yeah. but your, your Time Lapse Tuesdays, is are they still online? Can they still no. find them? So I okay. haven't done that. I mean, they're on my Instagram, like, you But know, you can go back and find back. them? Yeah, you could. Okay, cool. You could. And so, See? like, um, I that's how it kind of all started. Then it was like, oh, you're... You know, like every Tuesday, like, oh, I'm so excited for next week to see your next one and stuff. And um, so, like, I worked at FedEx, and so um, I would see the sunrise every day. So then I would just start bringing it to, to work and then, like, just getting the sunrise. And I was, like, just getting really into, like, kind of nature-y stuff. It's cool. Huh? And then um, my best friend's girlfriend's sister was getting married. And she's like, hey, you got to shoot my wedding because of your time-lapse videos. And I was thinking, like, no way. Like... Um, I know Jared's brother, my, my buddy who's been doing wedding photography work for a while, he, um, his brother does videography for weddings. Um, his name's Bobby Styler. And um, so, so I was like, I knew he had like a DSLR, you know, like all his equipment, you know, I, I, I had a GoPro. And he's like, no, you gotta do it, we'll pay like 300 bucks. So I was like, I like contemplating it, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. So then like a week before, I was like, uh, she, she messaged me, he's like, hey, you gotta do it you know, we'll pay 500 bucks. And then so I was like, all right. And then so like, I, I borrowed my buddy's uh, DSLR. I had never used one before. And then just shot the wedding. Um, Jared was shooting it too. So like I knew him, I knew the bride because it was my best friend's girlfriend's sister. You know, so it was like, it was, I was, it was a comfortable atmosphere. Right. And so, um, so then shot the wedding, literally edited it in two days. And then I booked three more weddings after that. Oh. Just like I posted on Facebook, got all this like, you know, super hype from it, and then um, two weeks later I quit my job at FedEx, and just decided that I was gonna be a videographer. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. See, and you're doing what you love, and you're Absolutely. getting paid. To, get paid to do it. You uh -huh. know, and it, that's you know that's the cool thing about you know doing what you love. You just just do it. Just yeah. do what you love. Seriously. I mean, even if you're not Davy Hibbler, where you're doing it for a living just do it because you're doing it for fun and, and you love doing it um now talk about some of your music videos i mean you just did one with ryan mm -hmm. right and <clears throat> what what does that entail i mean how long how, how long is a shoot like that um so music videos are really cool because i feel like any sort of like choppy you know like quick cutted videos um it's all about the music and so, like, if, if you you can have some, like, beautiful footage, great, you know, like, B-roll pants, like, everything. But if the song isn't good, then it's then it ruins the video. Because I feel like the song is probably, like, 60% of the video. The, like, actual shots, you know, like, because the, the music and the audio within videos is really, like, what's, like, resonating, you know? Well, no, I beg to differ on that because if you look at the 80s hair bands... <laughs> Some of their stuff was total crap. Right. But they had a blonde sitting on a Ferrari in a bikini whipping <laughs> her hair around. That is true. So uh, just I feel like within within reason. Okay. And so, well, nowadays. We'll, we'll, <laughs> right. We'll, we'll, we'll shift from the 80s to today. To okay. But yeah. <laughs> right. So anyways, full circle here. Um, having a music video, you already have the audio for, for the video. So all you got to do is just piece in when... Um, you know what they're talking about and you can get the visuals because you already know what the song is about and so within that then it's just super cool to just see you know it like come to life because you already have the audio and you're just piecing the little clips into it so now i know that you you know you do the wedding photography and you're doing the music videos now i've seen some of your um your pictures mm -hmm. at concerts like mike taylor um, Easy Baby, those guys, they, they're putting up pictures that you're taking of them at venues here locally. Mm -hmm. And um, how, how, when did you start doing that? When was that? Is this kind of a new thing, or have you been doing that? So, Saint of Gemini came, <coughs> and um, Nefa Farrell, and Easy was opening for him. And so, um, I, that was the, actually the first one that I shot. And um, so that was, that was a totally cool experience, because... You know, like Sage was here, Neff was here, you know, like some big names, and then right. Easy was there too, so I was just on stage the whole time. That's cool. Yeah, so I just got to, you know, be on stage, take photos, you know, and just kind of just, you know, have kinda a good be time. A press guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, awesome. So I've only done, that's definitely not like my my thing, but I mean, it was totally cool. You did an awesome job. Well, it should you. totally be your thing, dude. <laughs> thank Seriously, you. I mean, 
anytime those guys are doing shows like that, you should be doing photos like that because the, the photos turned out great. Thanks. Um, and my, my wife and I talked about it the other day. I said, he did these photos of, you know, Mike and, he, and Elijah, easy. Mm-hmm. And, and I call him Elijah because I've known <laughs> him forever. But and he, he's awesome. They're great. They turned out fantastic. So it, that's cool that it's it's a new thing for you. You've only done it once. Yeah. Keep doing it because it's rad, man. That's Thanks. really, really cool. Thanks, man. So what do you, I mean, you do... You do all these other things. Is there anything that you really want to get into, photography wise or videography wise, that you haven't done yet? Um, there's definitely like a bunch of big names I follow on Instagram, um, that are like kind of nature photographers that like are like for like Patagonia or like the North Face or, you know, like I feel like just kind of promoting outdoorsy hiking ish stuff. So it's kind of more like, I'm kind of weird and I like sunsets, I like clouds, I, like, I love fog. You know, like I right. love like nature. Well, fog is cool because yeah. fog does like just all kinds of cool different weird stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it's so really like I feel like that would be really cool to be endorsed by somebody like that or like, you know, kind of anybody that just to be like, hey, I'm using this because of this, you know, type of thing. So. Okay, so you want you, so what you're looking to do is more outdoorsy stuff, right? Like kind of travel in, photography. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool, man. Yeah. I mean, do you want to do um, tra- like travel photography? Do you want to do like just centralized in the United States, or are you talking like all over the world? Um, like animals and that type of thing. Right. Switzerland's definitely been kind of like on my little horizon. I told myself like 2018 I was going to book any weddings because I was just going to go to Switzerland and just take photos and make videos and and also but, but this just didn't um that was a lie the lie detector told us that was a lie because earlier you said you have booked out to 2018 i actually turned it down though oh okay I've had a, few, a few people inquire, inquire about inquire about 2018 yes good for you man yeah. go to switzerland do yeah. your thing where do you want to go in switzerland i don't know you want to hit the alps well, yeah obviously yeah just kind of that whole area I just feel like it's just, you know, beautiful. Yeah. And, I mean, all throughout the United States, like the Pacific Northwest, I'm going to Washington, um, middle of July. Um, So, like, I feel like just kind of that really outdoorsy, really green waterfalls, fog, stuff like that is just really, like, I love that. (laughs) Pacific Crest Trail, my man. Yeah? You like hiking? You like photography? Uh Uh-huh. Pacific Crest Trail, my man. Do it. Do it. So, uh... Davey, you got a website, obviously. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna hook you up on the link for his website. If you need your wedding done, or I mean, did you do graduations this year? I did. I I, I will because a bunch of my buddies graduated, so yeah, just took graduation cool. photos. Honestly, I yeah. He does everything do photography. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he does everything photography. You want Warner him to come video. to your kid's pop Warner game? You pay him <laughs> enough money, he'll come out and do it. Come on. So check him out he's on instagram obviously and it, i want you to go back and find his original photos where <laughs> find out where he started no no do it go back to see where he started out and where he fell in love with photography and then um check out his new stuff he just put up a video on facebook um that that wedding video was great man. thank you just amazing thank you and um check him out on facebook check him out on instagram are you, are you on twitter i am he, same him. handle just davy hibbler <clears throat> check him out on twitter Hitler and with a B. <laughs> Hitler with a B, yeah. yeah. That's good, okay. <laughs> Hitler with a B. Not to be confused with uh, Hitler we know. Well, I know. <clears throat> and a lot of you know, because m- most of my viewers are my friends. But um, check him out. Davy Hitler. Yeah. Davy Hitler Productions. He's doing awesome stuff. If you want, if you need a music video, you need wedding photos, wedding video, whatever you need, photography, videography, get after him. Don't forget, hit subscribe on uh, Beards, Beers, and Barbecue. Don't forget to share us on Facebook, and we'll see you next week. All right. Thanks Thanks for having me. Yeah. Okay, so our uh, chicken was at an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Actually, it was 167 on ours, and uh, safe to eat. So we've uh, let it rest for a few minutes, and we're going to cut it up and serve it. Davey's here, and uh, let's get going on this thing. All right, welcome back to Beards, Beers, and Barbecue. Davey Hibbler's here, and uh, we're about to get after this uh, beer can chicken. 
a uh, little late tonight. It's Thanks right. for uh, hanging out, yeah, Davey. No Appreciate you coming over, and uh, let's get after this, huh? Absolutely. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>